It was the East Coast that got a spectacular sky show as a spacecraft launched en route to the moon and was visible to millions. Sure could see it from our house. Last night, it was Georgia and Alabama's turn. A fireball lit up the skies. They say it was a small but potent meteor. While it was probably only about the size of a baseball, it came in at a low altitude at 73,000 miles an hour and thus lit up a huge area. January 3rd, they're wow. often hard to see because the northern sky is usually cloudy. And here it goes. Oh, there it, is. it looks like a, a rocket exploding or like a rocket taking mm -hmm. off right. or something. The, that is yeah. so amazing. And the, then fizzles away. That's what I can't understand. Why does it just fizzle away the way we're going to see it fizzle? I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I mean, you know, I you know it all, know. Tomer. As he said, he's a meteorologist, not he's a, a meteorologist. meteorologist. <laughs> yeah, I just don't know. I mean, they, they, they die. They lose that, that, that light. or They're burning up. Wow. And, and the, the quadrantids, as they are formally called. So there you go. Amazing video. I'm, I'm just so happy Beautiful. that we were able to capture that. I wonder if we were the only ones that got that. Who's <laughs> This is the Hagman and the Hagman Report for today. It is Wednesday, September 4th, 2013. I'm Doug Hagman. With me in studio is my co-host, my son, fellow investigator Joe Hagman. Together we are the Hagman and Hagman Report. Folks, you're about to hear Reverend Michelle Hopkins. Uh, Reverend Michelle. Yes. Uh, welcome to the show, Reverend Michelle. Thank you so much. I appreciate being here. What do you know about ISON and, and if this is related, how, how so? Okay, let me tell you what I know about ISON. First of all, it's going to be going past Mars with its debris field. And before it even came in uh, to where Mars is, it passed through our solar system's asteroid belt. When it did that, it careened into asteroids that went helter-skelter all over the universe. Some of them went forward in its path toward the world toward the earth some of them have already hit the earth they've already gone down through our atmosphere and burned up and whatnot some of them have hit terra firma we just had a really spectacular view of one that came through our atmosphere and lit up nearly a third of the atmosphere it was really really spectacular from space um, so we've got that debris coming at us already from the asteroid belt and this thing that just went through our our, our uh, atmosphere, it was an asteroid. It was not a meteor. We people think that a meteorite is just you know a smaller asteroid, but no, they're different animals. Uh, an asteroid is has a different makeup, and it was a small asteroid. Well, it passes with its debris field in Mars in early November, right around November tenth, and it leaves debris all the way through our solar system, um, which, you know, on its entire path, which early next year the Earth is going to be traveling through. But before that happens, Ison will be traveling uh, past our sun. It's going to kind of ricochet around the sun. It passes several of our planets, and 
it will probably be throwing asteroids and other debris down on these planets as it goes by. It comes to Earth, uh, it, its debris field starts passing by Earth, and Earth starts going into, revolving, actually revolving inside Ison's debris field on December 1st of this year. It begins to pass through the debris field. Now, during this time, the entire Earth is going to be affected. Now, we remember that the tail has picked up all these significant asteroids and debris and dust traveling through that asteroid belt. On December 8th, ice in itself passes by. Now, we should be able to really see a spectacular show from the comet. The comet is really huge, and, and it's even its tail. On, six, on the 16th of December, Ison will be fully past the Earth, but for 15 days, 15 days, our Earth is going to be revolving in that debris trail for this huge comet. Wow. This this debris field has asteroids and large debris, meteors, meteorites, dust, and all kinds of other debris that are going to be pelting the Earth. There are millions of objects in space. Every time there's a launch to space or a collision in space, there's going to be extra objects up there. Due to resource constraints caused by sequestration, Air Force Space Command officials have directed the 21st Space Wing to prepare to discontinue operations at the Air Force Space Surveillance System by October 1st. Final decisions on all fiscal 2014 budget issues will be made over the next few weeks. By discontinuing operations, the space surveillance system would not be maintained in operational status. Get clear. Get clear. 